Hi guys, my name is Crystal from Glittery Crystals. Welcome back. If you are new, thank you for giving us the opportunity to have you here. Today I will show you this cup that I made for my mom, especially for my mom. I made it late 2019. It's been well over a year that I made it. I, I had the video clips and I decided to edit this video for you to see. Um, as you can see, I have already the cup or the mug prepped and spray painted. I will be using the epoxy method to glitter my cup. Since the glitter that I will be using is a thicker, um, a heavier glitter, that's why I'm using the epoxy method. Otherwise, if you're going to be using an ultra fine or a less heavy uh, glitter, you can by all means use your spray adhesive or your Mod Podge. So as you can see, I am giving a good coating of epoxy. Usually whenever you use the epoxy method to stick on your glue, you use a very, very thin layer of epoxy, but due to the glitter that I will be using, I wanted to make sure that there was no um, bald spots. I have let my cup spin for about 30 seconds so the epoxy can even out. This is a glitter that I will be using. It's hydrangea from our collection. I will be uh, leaving you the link in the description below. This is one of my favorites. I know I have so many favorites, but I very much love this glitter. You can see the shift of the glitter. It's amazing for these summer days that right now as we speak, it's winter where I'm at. So I'm very excited for summer. I can't wait for summer. We had a very long winter. <laughs> so much snow this year, which was great. Anyways, let's get back to the video. I have covered the entire mug and I'm just shaking the cup a little bit so um, the loose glitter can shake off from the cup. And yes, this is how the glitter looks. This is the shifting it, it gives. I love it. I just love, love, love this glitter. It's one of my favorites. So before I let my epoxy cure, I am using this parchment paper to pat down the glitter. You don't have to do this step, but I do highly recommend it. That way your glitter will lay flat and you will use less epoxy to cover it. You can, if you don't have any parchment paper, you can just grab your, your gloved uh, your gloved hand and just pat it down, but be gentle. You do not want to rub it very hard um, because if you do, the glitter will be moving around. So at this point, um, eight hours have passed. My epoxy is fully cured. As you can see, I'm trying to scrape any of that glitter, but none of it comes off. We will be epoxying our entire mug I believe I used um, 35 mLs for this coat, uh, for this layer of epoxy, but use as much or as little as you need. I will also leave down below the link where I got my mug. It's from Hugs from the Stainless Depot. Before I let my epoxy cure, make sure that you pop those bubbles as much as you can. Somehow, God knows how, <laughs> that part where I was laying my vinyl, it got deleted, but I just cut out the vinyl that I was gonna use and I sticked it on um, and my mug. Before I applied my vinyl, I actually sanded down the cup just to try and have that smooth surface. So you can see areas where it looks a little bit uh, a little more dull, but it's because I was sanding those areas. After I have sanded my cup, I did clean it with rubbing alcohol, 91% rubbing alcohol. Then I applied my vinyl and now I am epoxying. This is a very simple tutorial, um, but I, I just love this glitter. I love how it looks. I love how it um, color shifts. The vinyl um, font, the wording font, I do not remember the font that I used. So early 
mid last year, mid, I want to say eight months ago, I had an issue with my computer and everything got deleted. So I do not remember the font that I used for this letter. It's the same font that I used for my rose gold cup. I love that font. I cannot find it. So yes, it's a bummer. Um, but yes, let your cup turn for six hours and let it sit for an additional six hours. I will be using my extra epoxy to cover the bottom of this cup, which I also did back then. I do not have the rest of the clips for this cup, but I will also leave down below the glitter that I used, both glitters that I used for that cup in case um, you want to check it out. Once my epoxy has cured, I will send the entire cup and apply a last coat of epoxy to make the cup smooth. This cup doesn't need, um, it basically just needs epoxy, vinyl, the glitter, and that's it. There is not much going on with this mug. Um, and the beauty of it is the wording of the vinyl and the glitter itself. Make sure if you're using a mug, make sure to have the entire handle covered with epoxy and sand it in between each layer. Well, this is the end result. I hope you loved it as much as I did. Please like our video, comment if you have any questions, subscribe to our channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of you that have subscribed to our channel. We are growing super quickly. I thank you for that. And I hope I see you back on our next video. Bye, guys.